Good morning, everybody. How you doing out there today? I got uh, some scrap metal from uh, dumpster or dumpster diving slash trash picking last night, plus some stuff we had behind the house. So finally getting rid of all that. May have to take this load down by myself because uh, Bob is at the bank getting a debit card for his uh, PayPal account. I'm showing him how to sell on eBay uh, and teaching him. And we're going to be selling the stuff we find together and splitting the profits on his account. So that's kind of cool. But uh, he, he called me this morning when he was leaving to get the debit card, and he said, "Hey Shane, there's a there's a uh, washer, stove, no, a stove and a." refrigerator across from his his uh, driveway so i told him i said well i can't get there right now plus the van's already full so i'm going to run this down to the scrap yard drive by and see if the stuff is still here and then come back and get that stuff oh yep oh he said it was a he said it was a refrigerator it's a dishwasher and a stove okay well that's not too bad then I could almost get huh if I wouldn't have thrown the stuff I had behind the house then I could have grabbed those so I think I'm gonna hustle down to the scrap yard and come back and grab those quick all right guys you can see we are at the scrap yard I want to really pay attention today on what they're gonna give us for weight so I'm gonna do the math today before we go in see if my math matches their math so let's see here, what's it say? 520, five, or 5,040, 5,060, 5,080, 5,080. Okay guys, we had 5,080 when we first came on. And we're leaving with 4,740, 60. So that means that we had 320 pounds, if my math is correct. Well guys, they did right by us. They did 320 pounds, we got 2480. That's 155 in that ton, which is pretty good from what I hear around the, the interweb. So, awesome. I'm going to go meet up with Bob. We're going to grab those two appliances and get the rest of the steel out of the storage locker and come down and do another load. So, let's get to it. All right, there they be. Let's see here. I think we should go with the stove first because it's going to have more weight. Not that that makes any difference. Definitely an electric stove, but somebody took the cord off already. What in the heck? Let's see. Let's move that stuff around. Oh, geez. Sorry. Bump the camera right on the stove. There we go. That's the stuff dreams are made of right there. Okay. Yeah, baby. That's how we do it. That's it. Whew. It's okay, Bob. I got it. I do all the heavy lifting. Do it. 
it uh, says Poulon. Let's see what's inside here. Whoa. Wow. Even a sharpener. Nice. Twenty-five. That's a heck of a. <laughs> huh. That's the deal of last night, I'll bet. That's the steal. Two twenty-five. Twenty twenty twenty-five. Sixty. All right, guys. It's fifty-five forty. Um, just so you know, I'll show you here in a second. Bob and I got together and we've loaded up all the miscellaneous steel that we had in the uh, storage locker. So we're going to see how much money we make this second round. By the way, say good morning, Bob. Good morning, fans. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, behind us there, you'll see all the uh, all the steel that we racked up. No, not you. That's lead. That's not steel. <laughs> oh, I got lead in my bottom. No. <laughs> And I had some time to kill, so we're over here picking the, uh, the auction dumpster. It's not too far away from the scrapyard. It's having some pretty good luck here. All right, well, we forgot they were on lunch, so we had 55.40 and we added weight to it. Oh, it popped up to 60. Ooh. Ooh, boys. <laughs> Everybody, well, we checked our math again, and sure enough, 500 pounds. So we got 38.75. So not bad. We had 24, or whatever we had this morning. Yeah, 24. So that's 62 dollars. Ain't bad. All right, on with the day. What's going on, Shaniacs? It is Wednesday, and I wish I could tell you that I'm doing all this exciting stuff that you should be watching on video. But all I'm doing today is cleaning out the garage. Heading down to pick up Bob so we can go down. This is our second load today uh, to get stuff out of my garage to make room to get organized so I can ship faster. So, all in all, it feels great to be creating room in the garage, but man, it also tires you out when you're out in the cold like this. But anyway, let's go pick up Bob. And... Well, guys, we're waiting on Bob here to come out of his uh, condo. But uh, yeah, there's all the stuff we're taking down to the storage locker. This is load number two. We're gonna get everything packed in there as tight as we can. That is stuff that we have to list yet. So that the only thing in my garage is stuff that's listed. Um, and, and when it ships, I can find it quickly and there's room to move around. Uh, I mean, my garage is bad. I've never showed you a picture of it because it looks like a hoarder's garage. It really does. Paths, you know what I mean? I, I, I hate to admit it, but it's the truth. So anyway, uh, when I get all the garage organized I'll show you what the end result is but I definitely would not show anybody uh, not even certain friends <laughs> what they looked like before Picked that load down to our scrapyard and this house here has been for sale for a little while but I didn't notice it out back there's a garage there and an old garage here I'm not sure if it could be brought back or not but uh, yeah and then there's this little house over here which painted the same as this house, but I don't know if they go together or what the deal is. Got some shelves in it, a couple saw horses. Yeah? yeah? Looks like it's getting all set up. Alright, so this has got a broken window back here. I thought I'd just kind of show you what the inside looks like. It's got like a cage in there. Yeah, John Deere tractor and a, some tools. Huh. So maybe a storm door. Got some. Uh... Yeah. No oh my gosh. Thing. Oh my gosh. I didn't see the roof from the outside. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so maybe this one's a little bit far gone. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. That's all a little bit too far gone, I think. I wonder what the rules are, though, if you started fixing it up, like replacing, would 
You'd probably still have to pull a permit, right? Do what? Bob says this little house has a fireplace in it. I don't know if we can get a view in there or not. There it goes. There we go. Oh yeah. It could be our man cave right there, huh, Bob? Yeah. And let Diane yeah. live here. <laughs> All right, everybody. So this is what the storage locker looks like after four trips from my house with the van. Thanks to Bob, we got a majority of the stuff out. Still got a little ways to go, but I am beat. What about you, Bob? You ready to go home? I am ready to go home. I am beat as well. <laughs> Well, good morning everyone. Happy Thanksgiving Day today. I am very excited because I am going back down to the house that I showed you yesterday. I called the number, he called me back, and he is asking $79,000 for that property, um, which was really I'm really stoked about because I think that's something I could probably swing. Um, so I'm going to see what his terms are, if he can carry, you know, if he wants to do a balloon payment after three years or if uh, he wants to do conventional loan. But either way, uh, what I'm really excited about is there was that one uh, what kind of looked like a two-car garage back in the corner there that is also included in the property. So this could be a really, really great opportunity. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Hope it works out, but I'm going to take you along for the tour of the house. So let's get to it. So what's your motivation for selling it then? Just to, I mean. They're moving to Florida. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's where we live. So they built, they bought a house down there. And it's oh. Retiring. And so. Uh, nice. Okay. Florida, just trying to get rid of everything. Gotcha. Up here. It'll be no problem when I put it with a real estate. Oh yeah, no, I know. Location, yeah. location. So this would be your probably your dining room here then, right? And then your living room. Really a solid house from what I can tell. So I pretty much use a coat of paint and some carpet. Wow. Shower in. Yeah, it wouldn't do anything in here except maybe switch out the light. The bulb's out, of course. Oh, okay. But I got another bulb. Watch your head now. That's okay. That's okay. We got, uh, luckily, I hooked the uh, city sewer and water. Okay. We got brand new electric. Wow. We got eight. We got some pump, farming, 207 sits on there. 207? Yeah. What's that mean? Uh, 2007. Oh, 2007 they put it in? Yeah. Okay. It's an older rud, but... Yeah, I've had it checked over numerous times by numerous times. Yeah. Oh, now in there, yeah. there's a shower hook up on the right. Nobody's ever used it. See it? Oh, yeah, okay. Can you see it, sir? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's an old sump pump. That's junk. Yeah. So does it stay fairly dry or is it. Uh... Uh, I gotta say, I gotta admit, it does run. Uh, some water through here with a big rain. Okay. And it goes right through here and out. I've never had a crust problem. But I'll tell you something. Huh. The people that looked at this. Well, very, very exciting news, everybody. I am so stoked. We made it deal on that house. Uh, I could not be more tickled or pleased. I am so excited right now. I could just about cry. That place is awesome. Uh, you know, it needs carpet. It needs some fresh paint on the house. But other than that, it's ready to rent for $800 easy. Turning around, uh, 
it has all the land, it's got the outbuildings. Here's the deal, $4,000 down, which takes the balance down to $75,000. He's gonna carry a note for three years at 4% interest. And at the end of three years, it's a balloon payment, which I'll have to go and get a mortgage, which will be absolutely a non-issue. So we did it. We finally bought our first property here locally, and it's five minutes from my house, which is just freaking awesome. So, woo! Yeah, baby! Daddy's happy. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving to me and you. <laughs> I am back with Mr. Bobbin. Say hi to the folks, Mr. Bobbin. Hey. Oops, drop the phone. Say it again. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Yeah, this is Bob's house, okay? This is this was someone's idea of uh, a man cave back probably, I'm gonna guess in the 70s, based on these doors. Whoops, falling over, there we go. So, working fireplace, vintage lighting, there's electricity out here, there is no plumbing. So this is where the guys would come and they would have their beers and they would drink their, they would have their beers and play their poker. But Bob wants to move in here. All right, Bob? All right, take it to the vision. <laughs> I, say, I was telling him, I said, it's too bad they put that plywood and didn't just replace the paneling. And Bob's like, don't worry, my couch will cover that right up. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this will probably become uh, our shipping area. Put some electric heaters in here. So that's the plan. What do you think, Bob? I think you got a good plan. All right. It's going to come together. <laughs> Let's go check out the uh, the shed. There's the outside of the man cave. This is uh, the guy's personal collection of antique cars. If you come over here, you can see he's got a visible gas pump and uh, old Ford car sitting there. I think it's a Ford. Uh, definitely a collector of sorts. But this is our uh, shed on the property. I know it kind of bows up there in the middle. I don't know why that is, but either way. This is the shed. Definitely a recent build in excellent shape. Probably, I'm gonna say a 10 by 20. I need to check that out and see, but lots of room more than what we have at our storage locker. And that will also be a savings of $75 a month. This is some stuff he's still got left behind. But yes, loving this place. All right, this is the quote unquote barn. You can tell that it needs some rough work. Uh, behind those doors, I'll show you what's there when we go inside. Still a very cute building. I love the front of it with this door up here, this little swing door. Obviously, we got to jack up that one side of the foundation. Definitely going to need some work. So, the only rain I, the water I see is right here from a hole in the roof. Otherwise, the place is pretty dry, it seems like. This is probably where we'll sort our scrap metal at. This stuff here belongs to the car nut next door. I shouldn't say car nut. I haven't met him yet. But, uh, and this is his John Deere tractor. So, the deal that he currently has with the current property owner is that he can store his tools here as long as he takes care of the maintenance of the property, i.e. Uh, mowing the lawn, trimming it, and all that good stuff, which all in all is probably still a pretty good deal. We may stick with that um, for now. So, yeah. Oh, and upstairs is the loft. Ooh, there's the stairs there, and they go up to the loft area. Uh, you can tell like right here, definitely some water issues. Uh, the old uh, plywood's falling down. But look up in here, wood shutters. And if you know anything about antiques, that's money right there, baby. So a lot of good stuff going on here. I'm very excited about this property. It's very solid house, wonderful foundation. Definitely gonna need a rough in the near future, but all in all, a really amazing property on one acre here in Moline, which is just crazy. And now we come to the sad part of the story. <laughs> I keep looking at this going, could it be brought back? Would it be brought back? And I go back and forth. So, definitely needs some work. Definitely needs to be reframed up. I look at it as is, this is a three stall garage, right? 
and that's huge to have. I don't know how the city would treat this if we tore it all the way down and wanted to rebuild it. Would they frown upon that? Um, it would probably be easier in the long run. Or do we put three single car? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still confused. I'm still not sure how I'm going to approach this. I have a plan, but uh, definitely a plan that would have to wait until the spring. But lots of barn wood. So. Yeah, that's that. Just give me an update. We are at the church here again. They called us and let us know that they had another uh, pile of stuff to pick up. So here we go. Two hours later. Hey guys, so we just got done taking a bunch of stuff out of the church. We have a bunch of stuff around the corner, which I'll show you here in a second. Up here on top of the van, we have two doors and a wooden table that a week ago I would have said no. But with this house we're purchasing, I'm sure we can find a spot for that. It's a solid corridor, so if we had to ship, cut it down a little bit, we probably could. Very heavy, so it's still very solid, but of course it's seen a lot of wear over the days. And another 32 inch birch door, interior door, which we may find a place for that too. So there is the van. And we got all this stuff too. Two metal trash cans. Uh, some aluminum chairs. Sorry? It look good on the farm. Yeah, wouldn't it? <laughs> Now what I want to show you though is, see that back there? That's an almost complete stained glass window, which I'm sure has some value to the right person. And then you see these brown ones right here? They are frosted glass antique windows. So that is a really good score for Bob and I. And then these were probably some type of security grids, which I think are really cool. So a lot of good stuff. Got some pipes, got a metal gas can full of Old gas. <laughs> kind of like Bob, old gas. <laughs> so I wanted to show you here quick. This is what these frosted windows look like. Kind of a cool pattern. They're all kind of that way. So there's four sashes like that. All right, the final result. We have the doors, the table, and some trim up on top. Down here, we have aluminum and a gas can and steel and leaded glass window and some chairs. I'm done for the day, Bob. What about you? Oh, yeah. We got a copper. What? We got copper. Copper. Oh, that's right. You got copper. That's right. Yeah, we got some copper right about there. Yeah. And, al and aluminum. Oh, so, yeah. nice. Nice haul. Gotta love free stuff. And some 2 by 4s for the new house. So, woohoo! Well, everyone, I think that is going to wrap this one up. Bob and I dropped off all the stuff at the back at the uh, storage locker. I picked up the blow molds. We sold through, I think we only have two left. We definitely like tripled or quadrupled our money on those. So those are really a good buy. If you ever find those at a garage sale or at an auction, you pick them up for five or $10, you're, you're, you're sure to make money at that, le at that level. Um, so anyway, guys, I, uh, where the house, where we stand with the house is I got a text from the owner this morning. He was sending me an email um, and giving me what he understood the terms to be. At one point he said, uh, uh, we're going to amortize this at 10 years and we had agreed to 30. Doing it at 10 years jacks my, my price, my payment to him up to about $750, um, which would be okay because we can probably rent it for $850 or more, but we also have to do taxes out of that. So that's another $220 six dollars i think the number was so i sent him a very nice email back saying um well what we agreed upon was 30. uh i could maybe do 25 which 25 would take my payment to 400. so all that being said um yeah so i think we're going forward i will keep you definitely uh in, in involved in, in the discussion so anyway guys take care everybody i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we will see you at the next dumpster peace out and have a great day Bye bye